This is awkward. Today, I decided to make a new series and on my channel I'm going to be doing a girl talk series which is going to be uploading every Thursday and you can tell there's a different background right now so this is a setup for the girl talk. Yeah, I'm going to close the window. Yeah, so today we're going to be talking about periods and yeah. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is my story uh, my first time getting my period so when I first got my period I was 11 years old and I had an idea about what periods was and stuff but when I started I must have been in my bedroom and I felt something weird which is it felt I just felt something weird so I checked my knickers then I saw a little blood stain and the first person I called was my sister and my sister had no idea what to do so she ended up calling my mum and mum came gave me advice she put on my pad for me and for the first couple of months it was irregular and it was very light I had no pain at all and because I was wearing a pad it felt uncomfortable I thought people could see it and it was just so uncomfortable so weird I don't know it felt really weird because I was such a tomboy I was never a girl a girl and it felt weird to wear a pad pads or tampons so here are some pads and what you do is you place them on your panties you have two types oh yeah you have two types of traces you can have one that's winged and these ones are winged I prefer winged and you can have that one that's not winged and they come they usually come in like this kind of packaging and these are body forms and you can get long ones short ones or thick ones depending on how heavy or light your period is but this one is the normal one so it's just normal they're quite thin so yeah I prefer these and the winged so there's like always in body form, those type of brands and you could choose which one you prefer and I prefer body form. Yeah, so yeah, that's all about pads really. Tampons. So what you do with tampons is you set them in your vajayjay and it looks like a spam but it's not a spam. So you won't get pregnant. Just saying. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to put it in by using my hands. And these are Tampax um, Pearl Active Regular Tampons. They come in this type of packaging, wrapped around, and there's two choices. You can either have an applicator or just the actual thing on its own. But this one has an applicator, so it looks like something like this. And what you do is you, right, this is your, let's get close and personal here. So this is your thing, your vajayjay, and you push it in, just that, like, and we do it from this way. Oh wait. Push it in, and this is inside of you right now. Then you pull that out. Then voila, the string stays out of your body, and this part is inside. Then you pull that out when it's time to change. So that's how simple it is to put this in. Personally, I prefer pads because I don't want to stick anything up there. So, can you swim on your period? Yes, you can, by just using a tampon. If you don't use a tampon, don't swim. Please don't swim whilst wearing your pad. 
because that will float and get soggy and it's disgusting so before you usually get your period you have PMS which is premenstrual syndrome where you are pretty much like a yeah so you either have bad mood swings you might have your boobs swollen you can have loads of types of symptoms with me I'm usually moody and rude and mean and really mean so better watch out when I'm PMSing so that's pretty much what PMS is but yeah it's just signs before you actually get your period so I used to think people could see if I'm wearing a pad but no people can't see if you're wearing a pad unless you're naked or bending over naked or something like that they can see it of course but me and my friend what we do is every time I get up and I always ask her to check but not to check because they can see my pad just to check if blood didn't go through what I was wearing so yeah maybe you and your friends can do that just check each other you know just you know make sure you're not walking around with blood on your trousers or your skirt or whatever you're wearing because that's embarrassing and that leads to into my embarrassing story this happened last year and I was in geography and I was standing about to leave for geography and I felt blood going down my leg and I'm wearing white socks so if it tries, if it goes all the way down my leg it's gonna go to my white socks and clearly they can see blood on my socks so I panicked pulled down my skirt all the way down and took off my blazer and wrapped it around my waist and ran out and went to the mate's room and I got sent home which is really embarrassing so one important thing that when you're going on a period you have to make sure you're clean like clean because you don't want that older I prefer to have shower not bath on my period because I feel like it doesn't come out it doesn't come out but I just feel like I feel more clean having a shower than a bath and you have to you can use different products like feminine wash and I'll just insert some pictures here and you can use those type of things to clean that area and make sure it's clean so it's best to have a shower or a bath twice a day and that is it for the girl talk today and I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any questions or requests comment that down below and yeah this is gonna be happening every Thursday and I hope to see you guys soon live love to the fullest so bye